this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial and review of a tool that I have personally used for a couple of years now. It's helped me grow my Twitter following to over 25,000 followers. It is also one of the main sources of leads for our business. So it's been a huge driver of growth. And there's been one key tool that has helped us to achieve that. So the tool I'm talking about is called Tweet Hunter. There is a link down below if you want to take a look at the tool yourself. And importantly with this tool is a lot of people review the tool and they will tell you how to use this. There is a secondary tool also made by the same company that I think you should use in conjunction with Tweet Hunter. That tool is actually completely free. So I'll also walk you through that as well because I think the two combined is really the key recipe for success here. And then one more piece of advice when it comes to using this tool is a lot of people say you should just schedule your tweets using the tool, send them out there, and then you don't even need to check Twitter. And I think that's incorrect because if you reply to the tweets that you get, so people, you send out a tweet, people reply to it, and you get in there and create a conversation, that's going to create a lot more value for you on the platform. So I still make sure to spend time on the platform as well. This will save you a huge amount of time. So let's dive into the tool. So I'm gonna start off the tutorial in the main queue, as it's called. So this is where, of course, you will put in your tweets and this is where you can monitor all of your tweets. Um, in the right hand side uh, here, this little bar, this is where you will see where you can compose. So write a tweet, um, add it to the queue, uh, your drafts, your scheduled you know, tweets, send tweets, etc. The other thing is there are some advanced options. So these are really important to note. I'll give you a tour around the tool first and then we'll come back to these advanced options because it's really important um, to get those right. Uh, so first off you have analytics which is you know really straightforward it's going to give you all the data that you need. You then have profile automation so you can do things like have a dynamic banner which means every time someone follows you it'll put those new fans at the top um, so it kind of displays just on the banner image which is quite cool. Um, you can automatically delete posts the one I use the most is this repost auto delete. So something that Tweet Hunter does is when you schedule a tweet and the tweet gets posted, it will then automatically retweet that tweet either an hour later, two hours later, whatever it is. Basically, the idea is if you posted the tweet at 8 a.m. and a certain amount of people saw it, you can actually repost it yourself by hitting retweet and it will, you know, let's say midday or, you know, even in the evening and it will get pushed back to the top, right? So just squeeze a little bit more juice out of every post that you do. So that's what that means. I have it set then to delete those automatic reposts because it can look a bit funny if on your profile, every time you post something, you're then reposting it yourself, right? So um, that's the reason I use that. Um, and you can also do things like send an automated direct message to anybody who interacts with a pinned tweet that you have. So the tweet that you have at the very top of your profile, um, which is cool. Uh, collaboration, so this is if you're working with other people, a ghostwriter, for example, um, you have the client mode and the writer mode, you know, if you're in the client mode, you'll see um, the tweets that people are submitting and you can then approve them or deny them. Um, now we get into the actual creation of the tweets themselves. So we have this section here, which is tweet inspirations for you. And as you can see here, um, it's then going to find tweets in your niche that have already done well. And so what you can do is then take those and you can make them your own, right? So you don't wanna take one, just copy it and post it. First of all, that's plagiarism. Secondly, the app point let you do that, um, but it's really just designed to be a starting point um, to kick things off. So let's imagine we maybe took um, this one here about marketing, click edit and tweet. So as we can see, this has already done well, right? It's got 143 likes, 11 retweets. Um, so, you know, we could then remix it. We can't post it as it is now. So what we would do is we would, we would maybe change it. So marketing is... So 
So there you go. I've then reworked it. It's also telling me that this is an above average tweet. So in terms of its potential performance, of course we know that because we've taken it from something that already has worked and already has done well. And then all we need to do is just click, you know, add to queue. So I'm gonna click add to queue. Um, so this one is still saying it's too similar to the original tweet. So as you can see, it's not going to let me plagiarize. Um, now, if I delete that, it's all good. So, you know, next thing into their psychology, then so your solution. Cool. So now it's saying all good, you know, and I can I can do that. So I click add to queue. And so that's all successfully scheduled. Um, the other thing you can do as well is you have these uh, little lightning symbol. If I click on that, basically what it's gonna do is automatically generate a variation for me. So the AI will do it for me. I don't even have to create it myself. So if I click generate, then what you'll see, and you can adjust this so it can be really conservative or you can go quite wild with the suggestion. It's you know entirely up to you. Um, it'll take a moment. And then you can see it's created something similar. Marketing taps deep into emotions, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So then you've got something else that you can work from, edit it, you know, and go from there. Um, so that is the daily inspiration section. Um, then you've got this post creation section. Um, so what you can do in here is you can search via a specific topic. So let's imagine, you know, you tweet about marketing. So you would select that particular topic and it's going to go away and find tweets that have done very well. So you can see um, all of these popping up here, underrated marketing skills, you know, um, etc. So that can be cool. And then you can also customize the results, right? So I have it set for, has to have a minimum of 20 retweets um, and be at least 56 days old. Again, you can play around with those filters. The filters are available here. So you can choose minimum likes, you know, minimum retweets. You can really, you know, push it up and then get to that stuff that's gone, you know, really, really viral um, and do it that way. So that is search and then you've got staff picks. So these are collections, like we have a marketing and sales one. These are actually picked by ghostwriters. It's updated daily. Um, so these are tweets they've seen and gone, this is a really good tweet. You know, you could potentially use that. Um, so that's another good one. You have then your own collections. So you can save tweets that you see and you think, oh, that's a really good tweet. I wanna use it and then remix it. Um, the other thing you can do is create these evergreen tweets. These evergreen tweets might be tweets that have done well for you in the past, or maybe they have a specific sales message that you would like to uh, you know, repeat, right? If it's a product or a service that you're selling, um, you would of course mention that from time to time. So you can set these in your schedule. To jump back quickly, it's in the queue here. And when you're creating your queue, you would edit the queue and then you create an evergreen section here. So you can see I've added in this evergreen section now. So those tweets will always get tweeted there. Um, and that's also where you adjust the queue. Um, you then have your assets, which, you know, images and things like that, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, then we start to get into the even more exciting bit, right? So you have these AI generated tweets. So these are just tweets entirely generated by AI for you. So you can just go through these, pick these and use them however you want. You can get a custom AI model, but it does mean you have to pay for the enterprise package. So uh, you have the discover, the grow and the enterprise package. Of course, they're running uh, a special offer on this package at the moment and if you use my link down below you also get 21 days free so that you can go in you can test it out completely for free um, and see if you like it um, i will give you my personal review of this uh, software um, a little bit later on in the video um, this enterprise package gives you a lot of additional options but of course the main benefit is the fact that then you get that customized AI model and so the tweets that it produces with that are even better than what you get just on this plan that I'm on um, personally, I don't use the AI a huge amount. I like to find amazing tweets that have done well and then just put my own spin on it. Um, that for me is, is kind of personally what I like to do. And then you have thread ideas. So again, you could put something in here. 
you know, maybe marketing a startup, hit generate. So you would put in a phrase, a keyword, you know, something like that, hit generate. And then what it does is it creates these ideas for you, right? So the top marketing strategies every startup should know, then you can click generate hook. And then what it's gonna do is actually come up with that first part for you. So what's the hook? What's gonna grab people's attention and actually make them read the entire tweet? So you can see it's now come up with some hooks for me. Uh, again, all automatically generated for me. And you can do the same thing with these thread starters. It basically works in the same way. And what it does is you would put um, your keywords, you know, what it was you wanted it to generate. And again, it will generate these hooks for you. Um, I also promised you earlier in the video that I would give you my personal review, which I will do in just a moment. First, I'll show you these advanced options that I think are really important. So you can do things like add a video signature, you can auto retweet um, at you know eight hours, you can set when you want whatever you posted to be automatically reposted again. You can do it multiple times. You can do an auto plug. So what this is, is if a post gets 20 likes, five likes, 100 likes, whatever you set, it will then automatically add another post. So. The reason it does this is let's imagine I wrote a post about our publishing business and I said, hey, we can publish a book for you, wrote this big post. <clears throat> if I immediately added the link to go and find out more, that tweet won't perform as well because there's a link in there. The Twitter algorithm isn't a fan of, of links in your tweets. So what this does is it lets the post go viral, get that virality, and then you can add the link later and say, hey, you know, come here later. This is where you can actually purchase what this post is about. Um, and the same thing can be done with auto DMs. You can do an, an auto direct message. Of course, they want you to use it responsibly, which is sensible. You can do thread delay, which means if you've written a thread in here, it doesn't just post all 20 of the tweets at once. It will post them as if you are actively writing it and hitting publish. And you can also send everything you've posted on Tweet Hunter to LinkedIn as well. So anything you create on here, you turn it on to also publish on LinkedIn. And it'll just go straight onto LinkedIn as well. So I use that um, quite a lot too. Now, finally, I promised, of course, my personal opinion, my review of this software. Frankly, I love it. Um, I'm not just saying that because there is an affiliate code. Um, I've been using this long before I had that affiliate code. The only downside is that you can't schedule the new long form posts. I know Tweet Hunter are working on this and that is something that they would like to develop. But honestly, that's really the only downside to this. And to really supercharge this tool, Tool, I would recommend that you install something called Tweet Hunter X. So it's this little sidebar here that will sit alongside your Twitter. And so you would log into Twitter. Let's go on Paul's profile. And what Tweet Hunter X is going to do, it will highlight the best posts that that account has created. So you can see here are some of the ones that have done well. So for example, if I'm creating similar content to Paul, or I work in the same niche, I can come through here and get some great inspiration. Um, so I'll leave the link to this down below. It is a Chrome plugin that you'll need to get. Um, this is just sort of the manual. You can see all the uh, changes they're making. Um, oh, they've called it Tweemex now. They've called it Tweemex. Um, I, I thought it was called Tweet Hunter X, but it's called Tweemex now. Uh, but I'll put the link down below. Um, honestly, I think this com combined with Tweet Hunter is incredible. What I normally do is I'll look for tweets that have done really, really well. You know, let's imagine this tweet here has done really well. If you're single, go travel. Just go. Don't waste time in your career like I did. So you can maybe create a version of this, right? Um, if you're single, go travel. Just go. You know, don't waste time. On your business like I did in my 20s and then you could click add to queue um, so that's just a really quick example I'd probably change it a bit more of course if I had the time I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you got value from it hit that like button hit subscribe if you'd like to get more videos like this about how to use popular software tools 
me uncovering software tools that you may not have heard of and also reviewing them. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.